Okay. So she uses ship ship ship. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're in my echoey bathroom. This is where I do my makeup. And today we're going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. Okay, I'm so excited. I haven't done one of these videos in so long. I really like my makeup routine right now, so I'm excited to show you. It's always changing because I love to try new products, but yeah. So we're going to start with my Luna. <laughs> really off to a great start. We're going to start with my Lumify eye drops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna start off by crying a little bit. I want to be a true beauty guru makeup icon and use one of these things. What? Wait, what? Hello? Okay, what a look. I look so scary. Wait, let's try my cute one. So I already washed- oh my gosh. I already washed and moisturized my face. So cute! Oh my gosh. I got this from Forever 21. So now, learned this from Alex Earl. If you have TikTok, she's the get ready with me girl who's popping off right now and I love her videos as well. She uses this every day. I have been using it every day and it is kind of game changing, especially because it's the winter time and I'm so pale and it protects your skin against pollutants. And I feel like it actually does do that. So that's exciting. I mix it with my magic serum that I'm like completely out of. And I just looked on their website to see how much this stuff was. It's literally like a hundred dollars I don't remember spending that much money on a serum and I've just been using this like it's not a hundred dollars at least I got my use out of it so now we do the deep bronzy my drunk elephant and I just scored it right on like so it's actually so weird living alone after not living alone for over a year so quiet in my apartment that makes me play music or put on a show 24 7 and then I'm just like constantly entertained and like I can't think straight because there's always something going on right but like if I don't have it, then I feel alone and quiet. So still adjusting to living alone. I'm using the famous Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And is this worth the money? Absolutely. I love this stuff. Also, I have acne again all of a sudden, so I'm on spironolactone. It's supposed to clear your skin up, and you know, I can't tell if it's helping because I still just like consistently have acne, but I think I have to wait a little longer. This beauty sponge is the Real Techniques one, and it's so good. I love it so much. Okay, the side effects of spironolactone now that I've been on it for like over a month, super weird. I've noticed I salivate a lot more. Weird thing to notice, but I did, and so I looked it up and one of the side effects is enlarged mouth glands like where you produce your saliva they're like bigger and more active why what is that why that's so weird to me i also noticed that i bruise easier i've been losing hair which is so sick now i'm using my nars creamy concealer this is one of my all-time favorite products ever pretty much every single product that i'm going to use in this video is like my favorite ever i can't stop using any of these products they're really good anyway so there's that and then also it completely dries out your skin it also makes you really tired which sucks because I feel like I'm already always tired without being on this medication and this has just made it so much worse like I will stay in bed all day if I don't force myself to get up it's really bad those are the biggest side effects but I don't know. hopefully it works I just got back from New York and it was so fun I just randomly went with my mom and we got this Airbnb in Soho that was like the perfect Airbnb it was so nice and cute and like the best location ever and it was so weird because when I got to New York, I posted about it on my story and like five of my friends who don't live in New York texted me and they were like, I'm in New York too. Like, what? Crazy. So it was fun because I got to reunite with a lot of people and I'm only going to tell you guys this because we are a family. You are literally my sisters at this point. This guy... <laughs> that I met last March. Yeah, he lives in New York and he is a full New Yorker businessman on his grind. Like he's an actual man. And I say that because normally the guys that I talk to slash hang out with are usually like my age and uh, college students or I don't know, just like not full businessmen from New York. <laughs> I feel like I'm making him sound like he's like 40 years old. He's 27 and I'm 23 so it's not that crazy. But anyway, I really hope he doesn't watch this. It's gonna be really embarrassing. Also, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Really good stuff. And I know this is disgusting. Okay, don't look at it too close. Anyway, so he took my mom and I out on one of the nights and then on my last night that I was there, she let me leave the nest. 
and do my own thing by myself with him. And he took me to like this really exclusive, like locals only bar. It was super, super low key. Like you would never guess that it was a bar. It's just this like random, very unassuming black door in the most random part of, I think it was Greenwich Village. I don't know, but we had to like get accepted. So their capacity is only like 15 people. And so you have to like get accepted and wait and then they call you and then you can go in. It's really interesting. And I had a long conversation with the bartender. He's this dad from Brooklyn. He was so cute. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm using my Laura Mercier loose setting powder. I actually don't know what this is called. Translucent loose setting powder, yeah. This is like the only powder that I've used and will continue to use. And I like to use a small brush to have better control where the powder goes because um, it's really dry in Utah and so I don't wanna like mattify slash dry out my skin. I wanna keep the dewiness, but I wanna set like some parts and yeah. I have been loving this recent discovery. It's really gross and dirty. This is the Patrick Ta, oh my gosh, I have like fur on my face. Patrick Ta, she's sculpted cream contour and powder bronzer duo. It's so good. There's a cream up here and then the powder right there. So I use this Rare Beauty brush. Do like so. And it really does like sculpt your face nicely. And it's not like orange tinted at all. So your face is not going to look orange. What else did we do in New York? We went to the Christmas Spectacular, which is like the best show ever. It's so incredible. Like so, so good. Highly recommend if you ever get the chance to see the Christmas Spectacular. At Radio City Music Hall, we went to a comedy club show, which which was really fun. It was actually really funny. We walked around Soho a lot. Okay, now I use the powder with this brush and I just kind of go over the same part. So it kind of sets it, but then it also adds more bronziness. And then with this little brush, I take the cream contour and I contour just this part of my nose. And I've been loving doing this. And then I use the powder and I just set it. Okay, I think I actually went a little too crazy on that. Mm, mm, mm. For blush, I've really been loving this right here. It's the Tower 28 Beach Please Office Hours Cream Blush. I use this Real Techniques brush. I do like this. Another thing I've been doing recently is a lot of blush. I really like blush right now. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this in the future, but I'm loving it right now. And make sure to just put it on the high points of your cheekbones. Also, I've been kind of dragging it under my eyes too, because I think that's really cute. And then I put it kind of on my temples up here. The thing about New York is I really love it. And every time I go, I feel like it's just so inspiring and it's a completely different vibe than anywhere else I've been in the world. I really, really like it, but I just don't think I could ever move there because it is first of all Insanely expensive like more expensive than LA you're paying more money for like not as much as you could get even in LA Like everywhere is super tiny. I mean if you know New York Whoa, if you know New York, you know that they're like famous for having tiny apartments and stuff. Unless you're willing to drop 14 bands. I don't know, I also think I would just get overwhelmed with how fast paced it is, but I really like it. So I think I'm just gonna go visit more. Anyway, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand Blush in the shade Pink Gasm. It doubles as a highlighter. It has like the most beautiful shimmer to it. And I love the shade of pink that it is. Oh, on our last day, we got to go to a meeting in the World Trade Center. It's the tallest building in the country. Crazy. It was the best view ever. It was so pretty. And it was a really nice, chill meeting. Like the people in New York are just so much more real. Really refreshing. So now that I have insane amounts of blush on, I'm actually gonna put more blush on. This Jouer palette duo so good like the perfect shades for me the pigmentation is amazing too it's blush and powder duo in the shade warm so i do one two one two tap 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 and then i just do this with a very light hand because it is very pigmented but this just like makes my blush last longer and it's way more vibrant when i do this this zit is really bothering me but i don't want to drown it in concealer so i'm just gonna leave it now freckles absolutely crucial for my makeup every single day i focus it kind of more on my nose depending on where you put 
the freckles you can really like contour which is cool so i like to put it where i contoured my nose and then kind of on the sides of my nose out here but not as many i haven't really been putting highlighter on because i'm already pretty dewy but if i do i will use the charlotte tilbury sorry beauty light wand you guys are probably so tired of hearing the words charlotte tilbury honestly her products are totally worth the hype a lot of them are maybe not all of them but most of them for me all of these like wands these things are totally worth it so now for my eyes first we're gonna go into the patrick ta contour palette thing and i use the powder and i make a line underneath my eye no other eye this brush, same powder, and all over the eyelids. I used to do this with the Hoola bronzer every single day, as you know. I like this shade a little bit better. It gets a little darker. Sometimes I'll even put blush on my eyelids and it like blends in with my blush and I think it looks really cool. But we're not doing that today, no. Next, I have this Sephora lip liner actually, but it's just shimmery. It's in the shade 41, highlight, champagne. Put it in my inner corner. And it's very subtle. It's like the perfect inner corner shade. I have used that for so long. This thing has kind of changed my life, an eyelash separator. It's from Babelash, and I comb out my eyelashes before I curl them so that they curl perfectly. Like this just makes sure there's no like eyelashes that are overlapping, nothing's gonna curl weird. I mean, it's awesome for separating your eyelashes after you put on mascara too, really good. This is the Tweezerman eyelash curler, the best eyelash curler I've ever found. Okay, these mascaras I normally love, Lash Slick and Thrive Cosmetics, but I don't know if it's my eyelashes right now or what recently these have not been doing the trick for me i don't know what it is so maybe today we try charlotte tilbury i'm sorry it's the pillow talk mascara i used to use this a lot and then i stopped for some reason so let's see if it's still good oh it's very um clumpy kind of yeah bangs it's a bit much for me i mean it definitely makes your eyelashes thicker i think that actually looks good my eyelashes are shorter than usual because i don't use the lash serum every night because i'm trying to avoid the red eye situation but it's kind of taking a hit on the lashes now i'm going to use my lash slick on my lower lashes because it doesn't flake or smudge i don't know if this is a symptom of spirulinactin i have been having vivid dreams i haven't had a day where i don't remember my dream in so long i got shot in one of them and last night, I died. You're not supposed to die in dreams. Like, I don't think I've ever died in my dream, ever. But I was, like, still communicating with my family. Then I came back to life, and I remember feeling, like, really bummed that I came back to life. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna wait for my eyelashes to dry and then I'm gonna curl them again because I just realized the reason why I stopped using this is because it does not hold a curl. It like weighs down my eyelashes. I'm gonna use my Benetint. I love this stuff so much. It's like the perfect lip product. I think it's the best shade. You don't have to deal with the feeling of wearing lipstick. Look how pretty. It's so natural looking. This also color sensational shaping lip liner in the shade 132 Almond Rose. It's super creamy it lasts a long time it's also blendable and it's not expensive and i feel like lip liner makes such a big difference and just pulls it together last step aquaphor this moisturizes adds shine and it kind of blends out the liner too there's not like a huge contrast very last step i'm gonna spray my face with the pixie glow mist i haven't really found a super good setting spray but i have this and so i've just been using this isn't that crazy how much of a difference curling your eyelashes does? Okay, let's go out into natural lighting. Um, that's my makeup routine. I'm not right here. That's it. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. I've been posting every single Monday. Come back on Monday. You'll see me again. Bye.